Happy Friday, Ranger Nation! You've been in the week! Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review, the show that goes over everything that happened in World Power Rangers and Tokusatsu, Kamen Rider, Sentai, Ultraman, and I think we got some Godzilla news this week as well. Biggest stories, of course, in comic and lightning collection for Power Rangers in Kamen Rider. Heisei Generations week is over, but there's still more stuff coming out, and I'm going to update you on all of that. There's a ton of Ultraman on the way, thanks to Shout Factory and... Yeah, we have a whole bunch more, so I hope you guys are ready. Grab a drink, kick back and relax, guys, because it's Friday, and the Ranger Week in Review, starting right now. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I am Ranger Liz. Welcome to the show. This is the Ranger Week in Review. We do it every Friday, and if you like it, hey, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, we're going to go to Ranger News first, and then we move to Ryder Sentai. Uh, Ultraman and then anything else so I'll have headers up top for you to take a look at and I'll try to have uh, them below broken down so you can skip to wherever you need to Whew, it was a week I feel like I didn't even catch up on sleep but here we go it's time for Ranger news nothing new in the world of Beast Morphers right now Dino Fury however we gotten a lot of the stuff uh, I post videos about it last week news about the movie rumors and stuff about the TV show but according to Joe from the Illuminati, who was saying all of this, he was saying that he's been told, quote, pause on casting. So if you're wondering what's going on with Dino Fury right now, there is a pause on casting. Uh, COVID, I'm sure, especially if they're trying to cast in California and things are really crazy right now. So we'll see how this goes and how this is going to affect our Power Ranger teams going forward. But the big, 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 big stuff, come on, let's get going into comic news. Uh, before we get to the new ones... How about some awesome news? Mighty Morphin number 50 is getting a second printing. Yeah, that was awesome. A return of Draken. At 50 was the conclusion of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Necessary Evil arc and Lord Draken came back. So yeah, it's going to be available on August 5th. If you didn't get to pick it up, that will be when you can. Did get some comic previews for Mighty Morphin issue 51, which it actually came out this week. I picked it up, but I haven't gotten a chance to uh, read it yet. But kaboom, you can see the difference. You can see why. And everything is going to be shattered. I saw that it has Aftermath on uh, issue 50. We're going to see it looking like they're always going to have maybe some title on the uh, cover as well. But wow, do we have some awesome news for new comics. It's really sad. You know, Google Power Rangers has ended the TMNT crossover. That has ended and we had heard that Mighty Morphin is ending in issue 55. So where do we go from here? We go to the era of unlimited power this week we i actually did a video on it so if you want to hear way more information about it please check out wednesday's video i should have a key uh link to it up there so you can check that out for a lot more information about these comics but it's two new series two new teams a brand new beginning for all of the power rangers this is going to be uh it's continuing like with lord zed and the whole story but it's going to be a new team because there has a there's a green ranger in mighty morphin and, and Tommy is the White Ranger. So, a lot more speculation. Do you think it's Draken? Do you think maybe it's Matt? Do you think it's somebody we don't know yet? I've heard some people say maybe it's like Casey Jones. Or maybe it's uh, Casey Jones from uh, the Team and thing. Or maybe it could be uh, Tommy's friend from that crossover as well. Who in the world knows? But the print copies for Mighty Morphin number one are going to be available in November. Lots of other covers and stuff for it as well. So, take a look. Ranger Command Power Hour. Dot, or rangercommand.com and you'll get all of them. I have links. I always have links. You know how it goes. I will have links. The other one that we're getting is going to be Power Rangers. So that's right. Remember when we had talked a few weeks ago about that book? Mighty Morphin, Power Rangers, two new series. Yes. Uh, Power Ranger number one reveals a new cosmic threat that only the original Power Rangers, now known as the Omega Rangers, can hope to defeat. But their secret weapon is the villainous Lord Draken? What? what? Zoran forbids the Omega Rangers from contacting Draken, so if they want to save the universe, they'll have to go rogue and against their Mighty Morphin allies. So we're going to have Mighty Morphin, it's probably going to be more staying on Earth, taking care of the day-to-day -day kind of stuff, and then we're going to have the Omega Rangers who've gone rogue, basically, running around with Draken, doing who in the world knows what. That one also is going to be coming out in November. 
and in more comic news if you want way more answers or at least way more hype stay tuned because july 25th there's going to be a uh, for san diego comic con at home there's going to be a boom studios panel my name more from power rangers the future is now so stay tuned that is at 1 p.m pacific time july 25th and hopefully we'll get to learn a lot more about what's going on in these comics sort of some gaming news first thing real quick for gaming news legacy wars that one had a balance update the ones that they stressed in the tweet was uh liam bow alarian alpha 5 and eric myers so if you want the full rundown of it play legacywars.com go there and they'll have the full balance update for you so you can see how your character has been affected but purple boy right here stole my heart battle for the grid season three has started so of course we get rj jungle fury wolf ranger the purple i love all of it i like how you like the wolf i i really like rj he's a goat you know this so as always with these they stagger them out right now we have rj the next character that's going to come with this pack is going to be lauren shiba who is the red samurai ranger the female red samurai ranger and then of course you can see the silhouette but that is going to be scorpina unless they completely have somebody dressed in a scorpina costume it's gonna be $14.99 if you want all of the characters and everything but you can buy them individually for $5.99 each in addition to RJ it's also gonna have the Phantom Beast skin for Daishi Samurai Megazord is gonna be a new ultra and they've revamped the Megazord ultra system so now you don't have to have a character knocked out it's just based on damage lots of information lots of gameplay and stuff that is happened so uh all of the free updates will be available at the end of next month and then the release of the other dlc content is going to be rolled out over the next several months so please follow them battle for the grid follow them on social media and they will always let you know when new content is on the way I feel like I'm gonna need just an entire merch video at this point. We gotta talk about Power Rangers merch news, guys, because we have a ton of it. One, the, we're just gonna start with this guy right here. This is not a part of the Lightning Collection that we know, but it is going to be a Mighty Morphin from Power Rangers Megazord. Now, these are the ones that you have to buy, like, each piece. I think they were maybe, like, $19.99 each. This does not sell me at all. This is not for me. Maybe it's for some of you guys, but check the link and you can see uh, some pictures of it as well. You gotta, again, purchase three different two packs of the Zords to create it. Uh, but I believe it was like blue and yellow were together, pink and black were together, and I think red is on his own. What else? This guy came out of absolutely nowhere. Let's go ahead and talk about this Metal Power Thunder Mega Zord. This was late last night it was a convention that's being held in shanghai china so this came to us last night over in the u.s uh, we have no idea about this figure a lot we just can see the pictures right here it is going to be somewhat articulated some parts are going to be made out of die cast metal there you go that has looks it looks like it has swappable hands in it uh so i'll have like one with color and then one without so you can take a look but please please take a look at the link and you can see lots more pictures of this no information on it yet no where in the world this is coming from but there you go guys thunder megazord is in china and and maybe we'll get it eventually <laughs> so now that we've talked about the things that aren't the lightning collection let's go ahead and talk about things that are in the lightning collection man where do we even start uh let's start with zordon and alpha right the lightning shows that they are indeed making their way to the u.s so if you've gotten those uh things pre-ordered i believe they are up in walmart i'm not sure if it's walmart exclusive but check it out for the alpha and zordon lightning collection it should be on the way we also were seeing that they were shipping the dino thunder white ranger yeah, I'm going to talk about that one a little bit later, but if you saw that in there, that's that's what it is. We also got another listing for an upcoming Lightning Collection figure, and that is a Zeo Megazord 12-inch figure. Thank you, of course, to Lightning Fig PR. Go give Josh a follow. Really, really nice kid, and is doing fantastic work for the Lightning Collection. If you're interested in Lightning Collection at all, man, go follow Josh. He also has a show called uh, Lightning Storm, I think. Uh, and it's on, but it's a really good show. If you're interested at all in just the Lightning Collection, I should have a link to it below. Go support him. He's, uh, he's a good guy. Let's see what else. Uh, August 1st is going to be the Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger. That's going to be coming out. I know that some people already have their hands on a few of them, so uh, you might be able to see some demos and whatnot of it, but that is coming out on August 1st if you're still winning to get a pre-order on it. Speaking of pre-orders, 
Lightning Collection Green Psycho Ranger. That had its pre-order and it was actually released this week as of the last time that I looked at it. It is showing sold out. I'm not sure if there's going to be any restocking or anything for it, but uh, maybe keep an eye on it if you really wanted that figure, but it is now showing sold out. The big things coming out on August 1st. Things coming out on August 1st. We've got the Omega Ranger and the Psycho Ranger. So first off, Psycho Rangers, kaboom, right there. It's supposed to come out on August 1st. I'll have the pre-order link to it below. It is an Amazon exclusive. $99.99 comes with all five of them and the accessories. Also August 1st, Omega Ranger, and that is now up for pre-order if you want to go ahead and get all of the pictures of it. It has... From what we've seen in hand, and yes, I'm going to show you some of those, versus what we've seen in the packaging, just to give you the heads up, the Morpher is not painted, his back isn't uh, extremely painted, and uh, people are seeing a little bit of issues with it, not as much as Trent maybe, but we'll, we'll get to that. So if you want to go ahead and pre-order him, I believe he is $29.99, and he, again, he will be released on August 1st. But you know what's not coming out on August 1st, at least we don't think it is, how about Trent? Dino Thunder. Wait, the Lightning Collection thing we've known about but have no other information about apparently is is in hand already. This is silly. Big thanks to Just In Hunt. It is a toy collectible store in Malaysia and they received these very, very early. Not just this. Let me if I can swap this real quick. Putties? Yeah, they already got their putties in as well so you can see some pictures of them. And... The Omega Ranger, yes, you can see more photos of them. We've got a whole bunch of pictures and stuff, so please check out the links. But wow, wow, the fact that we got all those. Let's go back to Trent. We have Trent. I'll tell you this, the helmet, ah, uh, no. They're missing, it's, it's like missing all of the black around it. It looks strange. It looks very, very strange strange uh that was about it that was the first thing i thought i think trent's head looks okay um effects and everything fine with that but the helmet to me is like what it's just the black huge trim on the white is like one of the giant selling points of the helmet right and meh but again thank you so much to just in hunt the malaysian toy store you're finding all of these and not only finding them but taking some really great pictures and sending them off to all of us in ranger nation so we have a better idea of what's coming way more pictures and whatnot in the link below check it out uh no prices because you already know of them and lightning collection figures are about 21.99 with that if you guys need to get a drink whatnot we're gonna move to some toku news and unfortunately we have to start with some very very sad toku news and I want to start Toku News with this sadness because the world, like right now, Toku is in a place where it's bringing a lot of people happy and this man is uh, practically the reason we have Tokusatsu. So I want to mention him before we talk about all of it and we can end on a really happy note thanking him for everything he did. Susumu so Yoshikawa unfortunately passed away on July 10th due to respiratory failure. He was 84 years old. This man was a legendary tokusatsu producer. He produced very tons and tons of tokus, but basically Go Ranger, Space Sheriff Gavin. He was he had his hand in the birth of tokusatsu. Um, he helped bring us the things that we enjoy every single day rest in peace thank you for everything you did for your contributions not just for the children of japan but for the children of the world and for the big kids of the world what you did will forever touch our hearts thank you so much rest in peace and with that we're going to talk about some fun things in common writer and we'll try to bring it up with some common writer news let's talk about something really fun and it was tokusatsu bringing us all together let's talk about Heisei week. It was an absolute blast. I can't thank Team Rider enough for asking me if I wanted to be a part of this. I pretty much was like, I'm available! 
available whenever you need me. I will clear my calendar. Uh, and it was just an amazing thing. I hope you enjoyed the movie. And guess what? If you didn't get to see it, Heisei Generations Forever is now available on Shout Factory TV. And I do believe it said it will be available on their other ones like Pluto TV and other things like that. Uh, it might be available later, like very soon. But they will definitely be up by the end of this month, wherever you're going to be watching it. It is U.S. and Canada only. We have, uh, this was kind of some breaking news from the Kamen Rider panels. Uh, Team Rider let all of us know that if you're a fan of Figwarts for Kamen Rider, all of the general releases, like Kamen Rider Saber and like, right here, that's how you know it's a Ruto, because I only paid 30 or $35 for him, $6 flat rate shipping. Cut boom. And if they're getting him for Kamen Rider Saber, you know I'm going to get it as well. Please go follow at Team Rider. They absolutely have been making a ton of stuff happen. Uh, they got these shirts. Kaboom. If you want to know more about that, those Rider shirts. But they had three new Rider shirts come out. Uh, I just found them Thursday afternoon. It's got the three Riders on it. I love Ichigo Kuga Zero One. That shirt. If I was going to buy any of them, it was going to be that one. But I already have this one. I got to pull back because I bought a driver, which I haven't opened yet. Uh, but they still have a lot of deals and stuff. Go support them if you're looking to get any writer stuff. And for merchandise, uh, I'll have a link to all of that as well for shirts. Now that I've talked about the high-level common writer stuff, let's go ahead and talk about Zero One, our current show. This thing is adorable. Everyone's daily life anime. So the show is going to debut on July 23rd. Uh, the character designs are going to be unveiled very, very soon for the episodes that's happening this weekend. The animal will be available for an unlimited time for active members, which is probably going to be for the Toei Tokusatsu fan club. If, uh, if, if I find subs, I'll retweet them. So, you know, follow me on Twitter. Promo! Something like that. But um, it's, it's going to be on the Toy Tokusatsu Fan Club app. We'll, we'll see where it goes from there. Hey, speaking of Saber, when I was talking about those uh, figure words, how about some rumors for Saber? I'm telling you this right now. Get out of your salt shaker. Oh my gosh, I can actually do this. I want to know in the comments, do you remember Salt Shaker Tommy? If you remember Salt Shaker Tommy, please let me know in the comments. I He actually broke. That's the story. He, he broke. I actually have his part over here. Um, this is all that's left of Salt Shaker Tommy. And and the joke about him is, anytime we have rumors and I say, take it with a grain of salt, I, I was pretending he was my Salt Shaker, and he, he broke mercilessly. So that's what it is. So take all of this stuff with a grain of salt, Salt Shaker Tommy. He probably broke more. Here's some stuff about Common Rider. Saber. The, a book is featured on his helmet in his chest. The middle of his helmet is a sword. There are spaces in the book on the head from which you can see the compound eyes, which make him look like Ryuki. The book on the chest extends from the neck. He's blue in color. The form change involves both the book on the head and the book on the chest changing colors. The sword on his head changes greatly from form to form. In all forms, he has a cape. Ah, <laughs> no capes! Uh, this again, all rumors, take it for what you will. You could be like, what? Because it's, it's Kamen Rider Saber, and it's like it's all based on books. I'm like, I don't know, man, I'll take it. Books are power, reading is knowledge. Again, take it all with a grain of salt. It's just rumors right now, but I love them just because I like, I think they're fun. In some other writer news, Kamen Rider Spirits manga has now been fully fan translated i will have that it's been going on for like 10 years now and was still <laughs> never uh ever fully translated apparently it takes place after the events of common writer super one i'll have a link if you want to go ahead and check it out i haven't gotten to click on it yet i just grabbed the news but i was like i might need to get that hey here's something that you might want to get from team common writer fingers crossed they actually get it the CSM Amazon Driver version Alpha has had the teaser released for it. We are going to be getting more information on it on July 28th. If you are interested, this is the unique model used by Common Rider Amazon Alpha. Uh, Team Rider did 
they they tweeted about it you know more information so they've been getting some of those csm so if you are interested in getting this stay tuned for more information and they stay tuned to team rider and see if you can't pre-order it right from them this this defo real one i love because it's like deformed reality and i i tell you this like every time i have defo real stuff but this guy is based on a common writer owes the tatoba 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 combo has been revealed. He's going to be a premium Bandai web exclusive, 6,600 yen, set for a November release. They did, however, show the shadow of what the next one's going to be, and that is looking like Kamen Rider Kabuto, if you are interested. These things are actually only 13 centimeters tall. Um, you can attach a pedestal to a figure, and his eyes light up, so that's kind of fun. I just think they look really cute, but it's 6,600 yen. Take it for what it is. I'll have a link to that below. Nothing really new in the world of Sentai, no new scans or anything. I will say, if you're interested, uh, Kirame Silver has officially debuted and he is in part of the team. I am slightly behind. I had only started that episode where he showed up and Pink was like hurt and that, that was it. And then I had to turn it off because I had to start watching Heisei Rider stuff. I've been on nothing but writers for a diet of Rider for three months and that's, whew, that's tough. But if you're interested, Kirame Silver is now in the show. But sadly, the only other piece of Sentai news is that uh, Kajiki Yellow has tested positive for COVID-19. Apparently, 12 people in a, a cast for show he was in have all tested positive. Uh, he had said he was feeling unwell, but right now they're just getting outpatient treatment and staying at home until further notice. Get well soon, please. You can bring more smiles to everyone. And with that, let's go to... Ultraman Z! Okay, actually, just Ultraman news to start off because we had Ultraman Day last week. Last Friday was Ultraman Z, uh, Ultraman Day. As to celebrate by watching Zet, I'm completely caught up on Zet now. How do you guys feel about it? I am super enjoying it. It's, it this is, I'm going to call this my first real Ultraman. This is not a DVD, this is whatever. This is, I'm watching it week by week. And guys, I am loving it. Oh my God, this Avenger and the way he fights. And it's, rah, the Kaiju, I know this was the worst des description ever. But I really, really am enjoying Ultraman Zet. Uh, there's a special little video of Zet meeting all of the Ultra Brothers, if you want to go ahead and take a look at that. But the biggest thing, and I think I talked about on the Ranger We Can Review Friday, but if you missed it, I understand. Shout Factory is getting the Ultraman North American streaming rights. Now, Mill Creek is still going to be releasing them on Blu-ray DVD, so if you want to have those physical copies... But Shout Factory is now going to be able to stream it. So the shows that are announced to be part of this deal that will be available for the first time via streaming... Whew. By the way, this is in November, so we do have some time. This is in November. Uh -huh. I'm just going to say Ultraman, and then you know all of them. Ready? Taro, Gaia, Mebius, and Ultra Brothers, Mega Monster Battle, uh, The Ultra Galaxy, The Movie, and Ultraman Saga, Ultra Q, Ultraman, Ultra 7, Return of Ultraman, Ultraman Ace, Gaia, Cosmos, Nexus, Max, Mebius, Ginga, Ginga S, X, Orb, and Jeed. Oh my goodness! Oh, I hope you were Ultraman hyped. I hope you were ultra hyped. I am. I really want to watch, uh, I think I really watch Ginga or Jeed next. I know, I, I've heard a lot of, a lot of my friends really like those, so I think those one, but, uh, let me know in the comments which one are you most excited to watch. Uh, let's see, oh, also, uh, Rube is going to be released uh, for Ultraman in North America. If so I was also talking about Mill Creek. I know it's not Zet, but I want to mention it since I was talking about Mill Creek and the streaming and stuff. If you want to get Ultraman Rube, which was the, now is that we had Taiga. Before that was Rube. It is going to be getting a North American Blu-ray release. Thank you to Mill Creek. It's going to be $49.99. It's coming out in October 13th. And they were brothers who both came together. I watched the first episode of it and I was like, hey, this is really cool. But I never got into it. Thankfully, Zet has me hooked. Also, I have a three-year-old who's asking to watch Zet because she likes the giant kaiju and the fighting. I am not complaining. When your three-and-a-half-year-old daughter goes, Mommy, can I watch Ultraman? The answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Oh, so you are, they are batting a thousand this week. They also won a lawsuit against an unauthorized Ultraman film. So it's from a Chinese production company called Blue Arc. They did it. It's called Dragon Force. So long, Ultraman. Um, they actually had Ultraman be a villain 
in this one, uh, so basically Subiara got 38 million yen, which is about $350,000 for their copyright infringement. Yay! They're, Subiara is, they're winning back Ultraman, and what they are doing with it is just giving it right back to all of us. I, I can't absolutely, I, I can't wait. Uh, if you really want more details about the home release for Ultraman Mill Creek, there's a really, really long write-up, and I'm just going to have a link to it below, so I don't really want to try to cover and read it would just be boring if I read all of it, honestly. But uh, if you want to know Mill Creek's uh, plans on distribution of the home video releases of Ultraman, I have a link for it, and I will have that below as well. And let's see, let's talk about Zed. The Alpha Edge has been teased for a figure. We don't really have any other information at the time, but with Ultraman Day, they did let us they tease us a little bit about that Ultraman Zit. Zet Alpha Edge. You know when I read it, I say Z, but it isn't until I really think and and then I say Zet. It's fine. It's fine. Also, if you guys have noticed, my height, my chair is broken now, and it doesn't keep a constant height. So, you know, that's fine. What else in the world of Ultraman? Ultra Galaxy Fight Two has been confirmed. I haven't even watched Ultra Galaxy Fight One. Uh, it actually was. If you do want to watch Ultra Galaxy Fight One, it has been compiled into a fifty-minute one video it is available with i believe subs and dubs in english uh it premiered it was 13 episode they were kind of shorts again all in one if you do want to watch it but we do now have ultraman fight 2 this is going to take place after rube uh the movie crystal of bonds so it's going to take place after that but before the events of ultraman taiga so there you go and now it is time for other Tokyo news which means Godzilla! Godzilla, king of the monsters. We're going to be talking about him. We did get some official images revealed for the Monster Arts Godzilla Heat Ray version. This is Godzilla based in the 2001. Going to be 9,900 yen set for a November release. And this is going to be a premium Bandai web exclusive if you want to be getting your Godzilla. And the other one, though, is Premium Bandai, of course. Godzilla and then Studio 696 has had a collaboration of t-shirts. Tokusatsu Network, you always got to give some love to Tokusatsu Network. They cover, like, apparel and bracelets and stuff. Like, they don't just cover breaking news and the big, big stuff. They cover things like Premium Bandai jewelry. So, you really go to Tokusatsu Network and they will help uh, get you appareled, I guess. Unless you're wearing common writer shirts. Guys, thank you to my Patreons for helping make this and all videos possible. I super duper appreciate it. This was a really fun week with some really great things such as toys. Uh, let me know what you are most excited about. Rider, Ultraman, uh, Rangers, who knows, but I would like to know. Whatever. We're going to go with that. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Please hit the like button on. If you haven't done already, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. I know it's easy to think you're already subscribed to someone, Zach, but you're actually not. I love you, Zach. Anyway, this is it. This is Liz for the Ranger Weekend Review. I'm out of beer, but I'll probably be having some more Friday night. I'll see you online. See you in the next video, Ranger, Rider, Toku Nation. Doodles!